Ecological communities consist of all the interacting species populations within an ecosystem. Most species populations within an established community, such as the African savanna, have interacted with one another over a long period of time. The interactions that occur between populations in a community fall into three major categories. Competition, in which populations compete for limited resources. Predation, in which organisms of one species kill and eat those of another. And symbiosis, in which two species populations live together in close association with one another to the benefit of one or both of the species. All these interactions act as forces of natural selection on the species populations involved. Thus, the populations of a given biological community are intertwined with one another in an intricate co-evolutionary process. However, these self-sustaining, balanced communities develop through gradual changes occurring over long periods of time. During these periods of change, one type of community gives way to another until a balanced, self-sustaining community is established. For example, none of the Earth's majestic forests originally began as forests of huge trees. Rather, the land they now cover was initially inhabited by lichen, mosses, grasses, and low-growing shrubs. It was only after a long period of time that the established forest ecosystems we see today were formed. The process by which ecosystems slowly change into balanced, self-sustaining communities is called succession. Let's now take a closer look at the selective forces of competition, predation, and symbiosis, as well as how self-sustaining communities are created through succession. Each species in a community occupies a unique ecological niche that encompasses all aspects of that species' way of life. The concept of the ecological niche not only includes a species' physical home or habitat, but also its food requirements, behavior, and predators, or what might be called the species' role or occupation within its ecosystem. In addition, a species niche includes all the physical environmental factors necessary for its survival, such as the range of temperatures under which members of the species can survive, the amount of water they require, and in the case of plants, the pH of the soil they can inhabit, the type of soil nutrients required, and the degree of shade that can be tolerated. Although no two species can ever occupy exactly the same ecological niche for a sustained period of time, the niches of different species often overlap one another. The results of overlapping niches is competition.